Okay guys, it's 5 a.m. and we are currently at the train station waiting for our train to go to Paris. We tired, but this is it, baby. It's kinda cold, just a bit. What? It's cold? What? We I don't see it. the Eiffel Tower, let's go back. Well, hey, why go back? Where's the Eiffel Tower? This is Paris. Yeah, but where is it? Train. Big Ben. Big Ben in Paris. Oh Want picture in front of Big Ben? I've been to Paris before, but these scooter things are new. There's like everyone has scooters. These scooters, like that you download an app and like ride the scooters as long as you want and then leave them wherever you want. I'm trying to steal one, it's not working. Ali, they don't ride unless you pay. Shut up. You having fun there? Wrong way. Um, that's what I said. We all have different opinions on which way to go. We're trying to find the, the hotel before doing anything so we can like know where it is, but we're having a hard time yeah. finding the hotel. Douche is going there, going there, and then going there. And we're, all, there. Going we're all arguing. <laughs> we got 2.2 kilometers of walking right off the bat. While we're walking, I'm gonna quickly explain yesterday's day to you guys. So we started off yesterday's day by going to church. Then we went to eat clams, like a bunch of clams and fries. And we ended the day in Strasbourg. Look at all of that. At uh, what? Yeah. Woo! Can you do it again for the photo? <laughs> Congratulations! Oh my gosh guys, so apparently the trams close, like the they, they close to the fireworks. We don't, literally don't have a way back and it's like probably like an hour and 30 minutes walk it's, and it's 11.30. And like then we it's, have it's a two hour 11. drive back home. And we, like we have a train tomorrow at 5 a.m. Made it on the tram boys. Okay guys, so we just made it home, it's 1 a.m. That was a super long and tiring drive. Um, packing my bag for Paris right now, we leave for Paris at like around 5 a.m. So that leaves us with like um, three or four hours of sleep. It's not the greatest. I'm tired. Slept for three hours and then got on a bus, no, in a car to go to the train station for a three hour ride to Paris. We're currently in Paris and we're lost. Gangster life, bro. Snack stop. Again, the best chips in the world. Yo, so we found the hotel. Amazing hotel, very To be honest, it's really nice compared to what we thought it would be. But we can't check in until two o'clock, so we're gonna go to the trams and like try and get to the center bill now. Look at all these scooters everywhere. And look how the tram, the tram's right there, the hotel's right there, the supermarket's right there. This is all so perfect. Buying some tram tickets. Got my bag in front, because we're scared of pickpockets. Oh yeah. Nice and spacey. It's getting more and more packed. <laughs> Junior gets farther away. Chris is happy he found a seat. Successfully made it through the trams without being pickpocketed. Score. Oh look, dude. Here we are, Arc de Triomphe. Is this something famous? Nah, it's just like a little bridge. It looks kind of cool, why isn't it famous? This Apparently yesterday, like for the 14th of July, there were like some attacks around here. So we're, we're meant to be careful. Wow. We are currently on the Champs Elysees. Well, there are so many tourists. To think to other people, we're just like a bunch of uh, sexy, random tourists. Sexy, young, beautiful Arab men. Sure. Dude, we just walked into a Mont Blanc store and saw a 300,000 euro Don't watch. Don't lie, 292,000. 292,000 euro watch. And we're thinking, how the crap are things so cheap around the Champs Elysees? Man. Daddy wanted wow. me to buy it, but I told him no. Dad told me if, if I buy this, I won't be able to go on my yacht next Tuesday. So, like, I didn't buy it. Someone left his Mickey D's on that scooter. Mm -hmm. Chris, I'm just using you as an excuse to film the view. Just got an apple from the Apple Store. Just maybe take a bite. Oh yeah. It's 11, but we at Mickey D's. We're already hungry because we started the day so early. I was very happy because I thought I could pee. And turns out you have to pay for the bathrooms. You know, when you're talking to that thing, you're talking to yourself, right? Yeah, I am. I'm talking to myself, but in the future, I'll be talking to people. 12 people, 13 max. 
stopped in the Samsung store to check out some uh, VR. People look kind of funny when they VR. Look. <laughs> My nose is too big for this. <laughs> They're, like they're asking about a fridge right now, we're in Paris. That they're, they're not gonna buy 100%, they're just asking about a fridge. Cheap wasting time. Oh, that fridge asking for a sticker. Yeah. Good job, guys. So we'd get a Samsung watch. I decided I want to have the full tourist experience. I'm not gonna be speaking French people, I'm gonna be speaking English. We're gonna see how, how we get around with English only. You're gonna cripple our ability to move around the city because you want to experience being a tourist? Yes. There are people up there. I wanna go up there. Look what I see. Did you feel here? No. What's that? It's a, it's a giant electric pole. Guys, what's that? They use it to get electricity, I think. It's just a bit bigger than normal ones. Whoa! It's actually so pretty. Every time I see it, it's like overwhelming. It's nothing like what you see in pictures and stuff. It's so different in real life. Very, very good. Well made, well made. Dang. The Eiffel's office is right up there. My bro, imagine having your freaking office on top of Paris. At the time, it was the tallest place in the world. Let me just catch that. Oof. There it is. There it is. Standing in line to go up the Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower. 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 Oh, shut up. I got ripped off here. I just wanna. Can you, you wanna tell the camera your story? No. I will B roll us going up the Eiffel Tower. Junior, it's okay. You lost 10 euros. are tired they want to eat and take a snack so we are no. sitting on the first floor of the Eiffel Tower and eating okay we've rested and we've powered up and we are ready to go to take on the world that's not what we're doing we're taking on the world we're going to see my uncle we're taking on the world and seeing my uncle yeah so pretty much Junior uh -huh. and Chris's uncle lives in Paris so we're gonna take an uber and go meet him up right now and have dinner with him meet him up just talking to the vlog vlog I dare you to touch his hand. <laughs> he didn't do it. Of course I'm not gonna do it. Imagine he cuts my hand off. We here in a random place in Paris. Don't really know anything around here. Now we gotta find your unky. Your unky uncle. Uncle. You respect my uncle at all times so. though. When you see him, you kiss feet. Chris, can I, can I tell you something? You know what I do to pose in France? In France, I kick all the poses I see. Kick, kick, kick. That's right, Chris. Keep it up. Tick tock goes the clock. I am waiting for Chris's uncle. We found their uncle. He's cooler than your uncle, I bet. Does your uncle wear AirPods? No. That was actually fun. We ate and then we went to uh, Junior and Chris's uncle's apartment. To be honest, they were both really cool people. That they were both a lot of fun. We had a good time. And that right now we're in an Uber heading back to the Eiffel Tower to watch the Eiffel Tower by night. Oh boy, that's so pretty, honestly. Whoa, we got a glow in the dark, man. You are scary, man. Very nice. Scary, man. Scary. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, souvenir. You buy a souvenir, my bro. Oh, but I don't have money. Oh, it's a full moon, too. Oh, oh Christopher, what did you. What did you. me, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> what did you get? Chris, what is this? <laughs> no. 10 year old. 10 year old. At the beginning, you told me 20. Wow, so you made a good deal. How do I take it off? <laughs> the real Eiffel Tower looks kind of cooler. Oh. 
Look at all these people. Look, it's sparkly and dandly now. Hello, do you have any wine? No, no thank, thank you. Yeah. To, the, to the 12, 13, um, 14, 14 viewers out there, please listen to me. He is an idiot. Me and Junior made up, and look, he got me a gift to say sorry to apologize. I'm sorry. I'll tell you guys what though, I do really like these bunny ears. My gosh, do I look good. Do I look good? Buddy. Sorry, okay. <laughs> no one appreciates my beauty around here. Do you guys like my bunny ears? Lots of people around here. I wonder how many proposers there are on the Eiffel Tower every single day. When we went up, we saw like one guy proposing. And yesterday we saw one guy proposing in Strasbourg. So it makes me wonder like every day on the Eiffel Tower, there must be like a bunch of proposers. Chris, he stole my bunny ears. My only sense of identity is stolen from me. <laughs> oh, you ruined the picture. They were taking a picture and Chris ruined it because he tackled Ali on the ground. Good job, Chris. <laughs> Is the picture nice? I want credit. There were actually so many drunk people in that garden. Like people were like walking around with uh, wine bottles and beer bottles, selling them, and like everyone literally in their little groups, was, they were all drunk. And then like they were e so easy to sell to. Like there are some guys walking around with Eiffel Tower souvenirs, and like people are buying them because they're drunk. They don't even realize. Chris bought one for 10 euros, and he regretted it because it was like super expensive. So he took it and he tried to sell it back, and he sold it back for three euros. He lost seven euros on it. And then I bought. But another one for five euros and I regretted it and then I sold what it did John tell you I sold it for minus one euro I gave them a euro to buy it. I was like let's see if they take one euro and take the thing because they will no one would buy it but like when you give them one euro they that's good it. business Why not? because they it. take it because they wouldn't take it if you don't pay them they would actually wouldn't take it for free we're heading back to the trams we, we heard some, some story like we heard some stories of some people being Jonathan beat up in the right trams now, so no yeah i look hard. intimidating some thugs look, pulled the gun on my uncle look, so what my uncle did was take off his chain bend down and punch the guy and run away <laughs> with his gun <laughs> there's no denying this uh, city is beautiful by the We've been walking for a while and we can't seem to find the place because everyone gives us different directions. We've done a lot of walking during this trip. So we made it to the tram station. Trying to find our tram is kind of complicated for all of us because we're kind of noobs to all of this. We're the, we're the only ones in this entire tram station and it's gigantic. So that's great. Turns out the tram is closed. That's why there's no one here because there's no more tram going where we need it. So we're going to have to take a taxi now. My gosh, man, we were so close. We we're probably like two minutes off. This is Jonathan. Jonathaning the situation. Hey, it always works out in the end. We get to the hotel and this is our site. Looks like we're not getting in there for another hour. Never mind guys, that was actually pretty fast. Now we're just trying to find a room. Okay. Home sweet home for tonight. Okay, well boys, it's been a pretty successful day in Paris. I guess this is it for today's vlog. Thank you guys for watching. It's been a pretty crazy day if you watch the entire vlog. And tomorrow we are making another vlog to end this vacation with goodbye